Hey guys, this is Nate here, and today I'm going to be doing a benchmark test and boot up test comparison here between the HTC One and the Samsung Galaxy S4. So we're going to start off with the Quadrant Standard app. I'll be opening them both up on each of these devices and we'll run the full benchmark test. So while this test is running, I'll quickly remind you of the performance specs on each of these devices. So for the HTC One, it's running a Snapdragon 600 quad-core processor clocked in at 1.7 gigahertz. On the right here with the Samsung Galaxy S4, it's also got that same Snapdragon 600 processor, which is quad-core, uh, but this is uh, clocked a little bit higher at 1.9 gigahertz. Also, both of these devices are supplemented by two gigabytes of RAM. So we'll see how this performance test turns out uh, when it finishes up here very, very soon. I uh, was just finishing up some of these graphics. You can notice the little uh, FPS counter there in the uh, lower left-hand corner. And we'll go ahead and proceed see what our benchmark result is. So you can see here, the HTC One is in fact the winner with a score of 12,784. For the Galaxy S4, we've got a score of 12,506. Now I've run this test uh, multiple times, and I guess what I will say is that I have seen most often the HTC One uh, come out on top between both of these tests. I've seen the HTC One score go up to 12,900, I think was about the highest I got. And with the S4, I've seen it go up to about 12,700. So there is uh, some room for error there, and depending on each test, you know, it could be a little bit higher or a little bit lower, but for the most part, the HTC One has been winning the Quadrant Standard Benchmark Test. Now we're going to go ahead and uh, back out of this application, and we're going to go run the Antutu Benchmark Test. Go ahead and open up this application and let it set itself up here. And so you can see the score that I got last time, I'm not going to run this full test for you just because it takes a while, but the score I did get last time was, was 25,208 on the Samsung Galaxy S4 and a score of 24,730 uh, for the HTC One. So this time we've got the S4 here coming out on top and we can take a quick look here at the detail of the score. You can see here for most of the, the, the different individual tests, the S4 does come out on top, but the only exception being the graphics here. You can see with the 2D and the 3D graphics, uh, the HTC One did take the lead, um, but when you're taking a look here at the overall score, Samsung Galaxy S4 is definitely the winner. Now, when you're trying, if you're trying to you know, decide between getting uh, the HTC One or the S4, I really don't think benchmarking or uh, performance is really the way to go to differentiate either of these devices. Uh, the benchmarks here are very, very close, both running that same Snapdragon quad-core processor, and the average consumer is just not going to be able to notice a difference, uh, even though this, is, this uh, S4 is clocked in a little bit higher at that 1.9 gigahertz speed. But for all the games and apps that you want to run, both of these devices will perform perform very, very well. So let me continue this video then with the boot up test. All right guys, so both of these phones are now turned off and we're ready to run the boot test. But before I begin, I just wanted to let you guys know that both of these phones are in fact rooted, but they are running the stock ROM. So there's no sort of like speed or performance enhancements due to custom ROMs on either of these phones. So let's go ahead and begin the test. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you can see the HTC One is already booted up, uh, insanely fast boot up time here for the HTC One. And it looks like the Samsung Galaxy S4 has just gotten to the uh, Samsung logo there, and now it's going to go through the uh, AT&T boot animation. And it looks like it's going to finish up here soon. And there you go. So the HTC One definitely the clear winner here for the boot up time. Uh, one thing I wanted to show you guys here with the HTC One is under settings and if you head to uh, power you'll see an option called fast boot so if you check it it's going to uh, greatly decrease uh, your startup and shut down times and I can definitely attest to that I've tested this phone out when I've uh, disabled this feature and the boot up times are basically the same uh, as the S4 and the shutdown times are also a lot slower as well so um, basically that you know the Samsung Galaxy S4 is your average sort of boot up time for a smartphone um, but it's awesome that HTC's included this feature here on their phone and I hope that other manufacturers would do the same thing because I think waiting for you know 30 seconds or so for your phone to boot up is just too long and I really would like to see you know more 
uh, phone manufacturers incorporate this feature because it drastically reduces that boot up time and it just comes down to a software teak. So, uh, you know, there's really nothing stopping other manufacturers from doing so. So basically to wrap up this video, you can see HTC One's got that awesome fast boot feature, but in just day to day performance benchmarks, both of these devices are too close to really give one an advantage over the other. So you're going to have to look for other aspects of these devices if you're trying to make a decision between one of them. So thanks for taking the time to watch this video and I'll catch you guys later.